Welcome to our YouTube channel Medical Subjects Made Easy. Today's topic is cephalopelvic disproportion. Cephalopelvic disproportion, CPD, is a condition where the baby's head is unable to pass through the mother's pelvis during childbirth. This may be due to various reasons, such as a small pelvis, a large baby, or an abnormal pelvic shape. CPD can cause complications during labor and delivery, leading to the need for medical interventions such as a cesarean section. Below are some detailed points under relevant headings regarding cephalopelvic disproportion. Definition and Causes 1. Cephalopelvic disproportion refers to a mismatch between the size of the baby's head and the mother's pelvis, making it difficult for the baby to be born vaginally. 2. The condition can be caused by several factors, including a small pelvis, a large baby, an abnormal pelvic shape, pelvic injuries or fractures, or previous trauma to the pelvis. 3. CPD can also result from conditions that affect the baby's head, such as hydrocephalus, excessive fluid in the brain, or microcephaly, abnormally small head size. Symptoms and Diagnosis 1. Symptoms of CPD may include prolonged labor, failure to progress in labor despite strong contractions, and lack of descent of the baby's head into the birth canal. 2. Diagnosis of CPD is typically based on clinical signs, maternal history, physical examination, and monitoring of labor progress. Ultrasonography can also be used to estimate the baby's size and confirm the diagnosis. 3. Pelvimetry, a diagnostic procedure that measures the dimensions of the mother's pelvis, can be performed to assess whether there is enough space for the baby to pass through. Complications and Risks 1. Cephalopelvic disproportion can lead to complications during labor, including fetal distress, increased risk of infection, prolonged labor, emergency situations requiring the use of forceps or vacuum extraction, or even uterine rupture. 2. The risk of injury to both the baby and the mother is increased during prolonged or difficult deliveries. 3. Maternal complications can include tears or lacerations to the birth canal, postpartum hemorrhage, or infection. Treatment and Management 1. The treatment for CPD often involves the use of medical interventions, such as cesarean section, to deliver the baby safely. 2. A cesarean section is typically recommended if CPD is suspected or diagnosed, as it provides a safer option for the mother and baby. 3. In some cases, attempts can be made to induce labor and assist with vaginal delivery using techniques like forceps or vacuum extraction. However, these methods carry additional risks and may not be appropriate for all cases of CPD. Prevention and Outlook 1. It is difficult to prevent CPD as it can be caused by various factors, including genetic predisposition and abnormal pelvic anatomy. Two. Regular prenatal care and monitoring during pregnancy can help identify risk factors for CPD and allow for appropriate planning and decision-making. 3. With timely diagnosis and proper medical management, the outcomes for both the mother and baby with CPD can be relatively good. However, the type of intervention required may depend on the severity of the disproportion and other individual factors. In conclusion, cephalopelvic disproportion is a condition where the baby's head is unable to pass through the mother's pelvis during childbirth due to a mismatch in size or shape. It can lead to complications during labor and delivery, requiring medical interventions such as a cesarean section. Proper diagnosis, monitoring, and timely medical management are crucial in ensuring the safety and well-being of both the mother and baby. If you found this video interesting please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.